Okay, hey everyone, Anthony Fantano here, Internet's busiest music nerd. I hope you are doing well. Thank you for clicking on this video, watching, engaging with me today. Today, we're going to talk about something huge, something big, something fat, something thick, something wide, something lengthy. Of course, I'm talking about this brand new song and single from legendary Australian psych and experimental rock outfit, King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. Before I get too deep into this video, quick shout out to our sponsor, The Ridge, still making these awesome, nifty, sleek, minimalist, metal-plated wallets. Hit up that link down below. Promo code MELON, 10% off the order. That's all you gotta know. King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. The band, of course, has a new record on the way, which, I mean, when... When when don't they have a new record on the way? But this new record that you can see here is marking an interesting point for the band, a return of sorts as the pandemic subsiding a bit has allowed them to get back together, uh, six members in the studio, all at once, recording as a collective. And of course, after uh, seemingly years of being apart, like what, what, what do you guys do? want to do. Of course, they're going to want to jam. So this has manifested in a brand new single titled The Dripping Tap, which is a 18 whole last minutes long. It's big. It's it's a big one. But honestly, uh, for an 18 minute track, and it may be just the familiarity of the sound the song brings to the table working in its favor. Uh, but for an 18 minute track, it, it doesn't feel like it's 18 minutes. Again, I very much put this on the fact that this song sees King Gizzard revisiting some very familiar sounds here, like the driving, distorted, punky, never-ending grooves that just kind of call out into infinity, uh, a lot like they did on the record Nonagon Infinity, which is one of my favorite records from the band, uh, certainly a fan favorite generally. The only thing about this track that feels like out of place with much of the material on that LP is the intro, which comes off like a very old school piece of soul from maybe the early 60s, but performed in a way and embodied instrumentally uh, where it feels a little off kilter, maybe almost bordering on parody. Outside of these moments and returns uh, to this original melody on the front end of the song, like much of this track is just jamming and jamming and jamming and jamming in, again, this uh, very visceral, punky, Kraut Rocky, never ending psych fusion umbrella sound. King Gizzard is playing the long game. And um, I don't know, it, as, as massive as this track is in terms of length, it, it sort of feels a little small on ideas. Like, not only because I'm not super enamored with the vocal melodies the entire track, you know, kicks off with, but I guess the track overall, in terms of the greater King Gizzard canon, isn't really bringing anything too new or refreshing to the table, in my opinion. It sort of seems like a, a lengthier version of what we've already known they can do very well, uh, what many people, including myself, have seen them do well in the live setting. But now we're just kind of like, again, going the full length with it and just like exploring every possible jam outcome and groove pocket of a given song and idea rather than giving the audience on record a more compact experience, a tightly written song, which again, I think would be one thing if the progression of this track were a bit more varied or if the guitar solos, um, you know, kind of made the length justified. The playing does reveal itself as being a little one note, especially as the band is expanding upon a song that is 18 minutes long. I think a lot of the lead guitar passages don't really uh, start to make the song feel all that intense or exciting until they're like layering up and harmonizing uh, two or three on top of each other. And not to get completely down on the idea of the band resting on their laurels a little bit on this one, especially Especially since in the grander scheme of rock currently, King Gizzard has a pretty recognizable and unique sound. Plus, it's not like there haven't been recent releases where they've, uh, you know, dived back into ideas that they've indulged in in the past, such as uh, on their recent KG and LW records. With that being said, I feel like a lot of the riffs and ideas and progressions and grooves on this track feel like a lift from Nonagon, but production-wise and thrill-wise, they just pale in comparison and don't really feel like an expansion on those ideas in any way outside of uh, just kind of presenting them 
in a super long song format. While I think the band does a fair job of making this track sound engaging from beginning to end, I don't see these various parts building onto each other in a grand finale uh, way or anything like that. I mean, the finish of this whole thing is uh, pretty noisy and distorted, but I wouldn't call it a super strong, gratifying conclusion or anything like that. Because honestly, one of the biggest surprises I had coming away from this song is that despite it being so long, I don't really have too much to say about it, really, in terms of like what it accomplishes and, and what it does and what it's attempting to do. And that's partially the reason I decided to do this video in the first place. How could an 18 minute song from one of the most versatile bands in rock currently not be like an event? Uh, but I I, th I think it kind of fell really short of, of being that. Not to say I think the track is awful and totally not worth it and doesn't make my mouth water for the new LP because, I don't know, maybe something that's a little more more adventurous and also very lengthy may appear deeper into the track list of this new record. While this track is a much easier listen uh, than most songs of this length, for sure, uh, was it the most exciting? Not necessarily. Those are kind of my impressions here, but make sure to let me know yours down in the comments. Did you love this track? Did you hate it? Are you excited for this forthcoming jammier? King Gizzard record, uh, let me know. Over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, King Gizzard, The Dripping Tap, uh, forever.